Hi, this is Mr. Beard, your instructor for biology for non-majors. And we've had a couple of students email and um, indicate that they're having issues getting around inside Blackboard. And I just wanted to pass on a couple of tips for you just so that you can understand how the course is set up. Uh, as you can see here, I'm already logged in to the biology class and I've already clicked on the link to take me to the biology class. Once in inside this class, all the material that you'll need week by week is in the course modules section on the left side. If I click on course modules, it will take me to another page. And here at a glance, I can see there are a couple of things that can help me out. At the top, there is a folder called about the modules. If you click on this, it takes you to a section that explains how the modules are set up and what's found inside them. Also, you'll find directions for completing the labs. So you might read through that in case you have questions about the labs. Please do know that the, some of the labs require you to complete them and mail them to me. And the, uh, the address you need to send them to is located in the labs, and it's also in the syllabus. So you might check that. Um, at the top of the page, I see this little breadcrumb trail here. This actually shows me where I am currently. I clicked on course modules and now I'm inside about the modules. If I wanted to go back out to course modules, I could just click on course modules right here. It takes me back. And here I see the zoo lab is available. That's actually not due till the end of the semester, but it's here now so that you can access it at any time. So you can go to the, lab, the zoo anytime throughout the semester. If I click on module one, which is what you're supposed to have completed by this weekend, and you'll see that inside here, there are some chapter folders and the labs that are due this week, as well as the syllabus quiz. Now, taking the syllabus quiz is just as simple as clicking on the quiz and then answering the questions and then submitting at the end. One of the problems that some of you have been having is submitting labs. If you click on a lab, like the chemistry lab here, now, I'm going to use this as an example of how to upload a lab, but do note that I think the chemistry lab is one of those that you have to mail in. But for the most part, for the labs that you have to upload, you can simply open the lab from here by clicking on the document link. And then when you're finished completing the lab, you can scroll down. There's a section under assignment materials where you can uh, provide comments for me. <laughs> And also, where it says attach file right here, you'll click on browse my computer and you'll find your document that you want to upload for the lab assignment and click open. And that's all you have to do to attach the lab. Now, with the labs, when you complete them, you need to name the lab, for instance, Kim Lab, and then your last name and first initial. That's probably the best way to do it. That way I know who the lab belongs to. Once it's attached, you scroll to the bottom and hit submit. And on your end as a student, you'll see a submission history and it shows that the materials are submitted and there is a file attached. And so when you're finished, you just go to the bottom where it says finish and click OK. And it goes into the grade book and I can grade it when I'm ready. A couple of other things that you might be interested to know if you go to course information. As I said earlier, the address where you'll need to mail in certain labs is found in the syllabus. You can download the syllabus here. And there's also a document on how to forward your TCC mail to another email account. If you don't check your TCC email regularly, you need to uh, check it because that's my main form of communicating with you. If you do have another email account, this document will explain how to have your TCC email forwarded so that if you use Gmail or Yahoo Mail, you can receive copies of those emails through that account. So you might check that out. Um, that's all I have for now. If you do have questions, don't forget, you can also click on the send email button at the left hand side at any time you're in Blackboard and uh, from our from the biology site and it will send you can send me an email so if there are no other questions and you in uh
then hopefully this was has been a help to you. If not, just send me an email or um, call the ACS office at West Campus at 595-8060 and they can get a message to me. Thanks.